Are you ready for a reset? Here are three signs to know whether or not you need to make a major change. Now, when I'm talking about a reset, I'm not talking about feeling a little bit stressed, feeling overwhelmed, feeling slightly unwell, even feeling like you need a holiday. They're a different set of circumstances to needing a reset. And when I talk about a reset, I mean a complete change in direction. It might be in your personal life, it might be in your work life. It may be how you view the world, changing your values around. So whether or not you have one, two or three of these signs that you can identify with will depend how far you are on your journey to making some big, big changes. Now, the first sign is a sense that if you don't, you don't feel confident enough to move forwards, but you feel as though if you keep doing the same thing, you're going to be going backwards. It's not like feeling stuck on a project where you think if I just work out how to make this next step, everything else is going to fall into place. It's a little bit like, you know that your life to a lot of other people looks great, but you're just not feeling it anymore. You've got some really strong feelings that you need to make a change. Maybe you've noticed that activities that used to delight you either in your personal life or your professional life or just the people you used to hang out with, it's just not having the same impact. There's a sense that something major needs to make, make a change. The second sign is a sense of urgency. You used to talk about maybe doing something someday and then it's moved to one day and now you're thinking and feeling, if I don't do it now, when am I going to do it? I love, I have a coaching client who is 75 years old and an incredible inventor. And she is planning her inventions for the next five years. And she's looking at what patient she needs, what how much fund, fund she needs to raise for the next stage of her, her inventions. And she's got this incredible attitude towards time. And she says, well, in five years time, I'm gonna be 80. I could be 80 and do nothing, or I could be 80 and have all these incredible inventions ready to launch on the world. And this is the sense you're having with time at the moment. If I don't start it now, when am I going to start it? And maybe you started noticing yourself, noticing the stories of famous or successful and successful people. You're looking at documentaries or reading books or an article in a newspaper or a magazine is catching your eye and you read about how against incredible odds and adversity and not the perfect background, they didn't come from a wealthy family, but they still managed to make this enormous contribution and they did a big reset at some point during their lives. There are some great stories out there. I love the work of Jenna Kucha, who as she says in her bio, she was a, a mum with a $300 camera who turned a million dollar photography business into something completely different. And she started just with the camera, a little bit like Jasmine started as well. And perhaps you've started noticing yourself being drawn to these stories and you see that they just got started. And you think, well, if I don't get started now, am I gonna run out of time? Am I going to look back in five years time and think, well, I spent five more years doing a job I didn't really like, working for people whose values weren't aligned with mine and I wasn't even enjoying myself. So the second sign is that sense of urgency. Now the third sign is that your doubts and fears that were holding your back are starting to be a little less powerful. So what do I mean by this? Well, let's say you know that doing the reset that you have in your heart is not going to fill your family and friends with unallayed approval or even joy. You know that your Auntie May might say that I don't see why you gave up this perfectly good job to do that, or your bestie said, yeah, but the perks are really good. But that doesn't seem to deter you the same way that it used to. Maybe you started looking at books and Let's face it, you're here with me, which brings me incredible joy, but you've started to think about those doubts and fears that used to be cast iron reasons. And now like, well, what if I could get over the fact that I don't feel ready? What if I could get over the fact that right now I don't know how to fundraise, that right now I don't know how to take the first step with making my passion project the way I earn a living, but maybe that's okay. Maybe I can get started anyway. So I'm very happy I could share these three signs with you and we could dive into each of them in a lot more detail, but I just wanted to give you a taste in case right now you're feeling unsettled. 
you feel as though you need to make a change, but you're not sure whether you should do something that's temporary or you need to pause and then look at the direction in which you want to go with a lot more detail and look at the impact it's going to have on your life as a whole. So today is not about how to do a reset. It's how the three signs that means a reset could be right for you just now. But there's a lot more resources that you can draw on in my podcast. In season one, there is a great podcast called um, Find Out Who You Are and Do It On Purpose, which talks about a golden thread to find out what your reset might look like. In season three of my podcast, Feeling Forwards, I talk about how to design your future. So there's lots of resources there for you. And as always, I am only an email or a DM away if you have a specific issue you'd like to raise with me about whether or not you really do need to make a big reset, you could always reach out and I would be more than happy to help. Until next time.